Have you ever wondered how to get Isogen to automate a process that is tedious and boring to uh, do over and over again? Well, in this video, this is what we'll show you. So in a previous video, I showed you how to uh, actually name your drawings out of Isogen as a 1, 2, and 3 on sheet 1, 2, and 3 instead of the default which is nothing for sheet 1, A, B, and C for sheet 2, 3, and 4. Uh, and I had mentioned that you could actually run a script on the back side of Isogen to actually rename it sheet instead of the I, O, and whatever. So I'm in this video I'm going to show you how to do that. So really the first thing that you need to do is create a script file to tell Isogen to run at the back end of your ISO. So uh, using any script editor, uh, my personal choice is Notepad++, but you can just use regular Notepad. And so I have a script in here that says replace dot I with sheet. Since it does the 01 and 02 and 03, I want to leave that alone. I don't want to change that. And so we're going to change this one right here to sheet. Okay, so it's going to do whatever the line number is and then replace the I with sheet uh, or dash sheet and then 01. So uh, save that. Move that out of the way. And we're going to hit edit inside of our isogen and then under drawing manager the very first tab right here you will see a pre and post processors so we want to click on that one okay so there we we have a pre-processor uh, a pod processor a post processor so we're going to deal with the post processor so we click on that one that'll bring up a windows dialog box and so we want to go to our isogen style right here and I have a folder called batch apps and so we're going to copy this one or uh, select this one right here and hit open okay so now it's in our post processor okay and we're going to hit save okay now hit exit go ahead and hit export style that'll create all your uh, text documents uh, your DDF file and all that so we're gonna go okay and minimize that for a second and we're going to go to CADWorks and we are going to drop an ISO so IGB Isogen Batch and we're going to go to this one right here let's say cooling water 7430 eh, tell you what let's go with the uh, process the 1480 so once it drops the ISOs, then you will see that it says sheet 01 instead of I01. So, and then we got a sheet 2 also. Now one problem with this is that it will not overwrite your ISOs if you try to run it again. So let's show you what happens. So we're going to do IGB. We're going to select 480. 1480 okay so we still have our I01 and so what the script is doing in the background is it looks in the uh, isogen out folder that we have created that where all my ISOs go and it's going to look for that dot i on every dwg 
And so it's going to change it to dash SHT and then leave the 01 and 02 depending on how many sheets you've got. Okay, so if you want that to run again with the correct sheet, you have to hit, uh, you have to delete them basically. Now, me being kind of lazy and I like to process, uh, you know, automate processes. I've actually created another script file that we're going to run at the beginning of the project or the beginning of the ISO to actually delete all the DWGs, all the uh, pod files, all the XMLs, and all the uh, isogen backups. So use this one carefully because uh, you might save some drawings in your default isogen style and um, it'll delete it. So Let's go back to our style here. We're going to go edit. Again, pre and post processing. We're going to do a pre processor. And click that, and we're going to clear folder. Okay. Hit OK. And we're going to hit save and exit. Export our isogen style again. Minimize that out. Okay, so if you see over here in our uh, isogen out folder, we're going to, it should, if everything works correctly and I have it everything coded, it should delete all those first and then it'll repopulate those when we drop the uh, when it goes further in the process so we're going to do IGO no IGB okay we're going to hit 1480 we're going to hit OK let's run the ISO you can see it just deleted those populated them back renamed them and you're ready to go and looking at your ISOs so I hope that helps shed a little light on the ability to add in the pre and pro post processing to Isogen. Uh, it's a real time saver, uh, a lot of less uh, manual work, and you can just automate the processes that you want to use. Uh, again, we got this uh, request through the comments on the YouTube videos. Please feel free to uh, send me another suggestion. I will be gladly, uh, I will gladly look at it. And if it fits into our format and I think we can do it, then by God, we'll do it. So uh, remember to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit your hit the like icon down at the bottom. Let all your uh, friends and colleagues know about this channel. And until next time.